I'm joined now in the studio by Dr. Omar Imadi from the Centre for Syrian Studies at the University of St Andrews. Good to have Good to have you with us. I mean, when you look at the, the, the figures involved, hundreds of thousands of people killed, millions been forced to leave their homes, it's hard to see how we got from that, a, a, a protest for change, yeah. to this brutal conflict. Yes, absolutely, and, and I, uh, I wonder if, if uh, the main players ask, ask that question, you know, after six years, here we have the Syrian government, six years later, unable to even stop uh, bombs in, in Damascus, and, and uh, the so-called victories, it, it claims, you know, were not victories of hearts and minds, they were victories over rubble and, and, and destruction, and uh, nor is really the opposition in, in a better place. I mean, they must find themselves asking those difficult questions as well, you know, uh, what, what is precisely the path they're pursuing? What are they trying to achieve? You know, here we are, six years later, and, and, and the grand, you know, the, the real story is, is about Syrians and then the Syrian suffering. Well, is that the problem, that the whole thing has become more protracted and muddied because of the involvement of all the other players in this? I mean, you know, uh, players like, like Russia, like the West, and, and regional players, Qatar, Turkey, Iran. Yes, yes. Well, of course, and, and uh, we often find uh, the opposition espousing positions that are more about configurations that have a regional dimension than, than a position that could possibly embarrass the regime, so to speak, into some type of settlement you know, however unsatisfactory, but at least would stop the killing. He, indeed, you know, this, this is not a story about anyone really in this for Syrians. It, it is about anything but, you know, whether it's about surviving, you know, a regime trying to survive, an opposition, you know, uh, reflecting regional positions, uh, the Russians uh, thinking of a much grander picture that involves missile defense and NATO expansion to Ukraine. And, and where are the Syrians in all of this? I mean, it, we, we, we talk optimistically about the peace talks that are going on and possible yes. political solutions. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, uh, there is a train of thought, you know, what we're going to end up with is a Syria that's broken into various, um, you know, partitions uh, yes. given over to different groups. I mean, what do you see the, the future of, of Syria as? It, well, Syria is already broken. And the, the, the danger is, is institutionalizing this and, or formalizing it. You know, we, we have have deep wounds, we have areas under various uh, you know, control of various factions, whether it's the government or others, and uh, the, 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 the grand mistake would be to try to come up with a framework that actually transforms this into some type of formal reality. What we need is a political um, settlement that in fact, you know, creates a framework to heal Syria, to bring back Syria to the beautiful mosaic it once was. Oh, well, uh, good to speak with you on a, on a very complex um, situation. Omar Imadi there uh, from Thank the you. University of St. Andrews.